Listen to Braves, welcome to the Geek Chest. My name's Steve. My name's Ernest. And today in Extra Figure News. So if you guys didn't know, the International Tokyo Toy Show went on this weekend, where they show a bunch of the Japanese toys from Bandai and a, quite a few other major distributors over there. Sweet. We're going to talk about some of the toys that we, at least we know is coming out of this convention, because we didn't actually get to go. And some we need in our lives. Yes. Not sure how much of this we're actually going to be able to put pictures up of, because if it's not like officially on the website... I don't take anybody's photos. Yeah. So we're just going to talk about toys we saw on there. And the big one, which you guys probably the reason why you clicked on, is that they're officially putting out a Shin Goji SH Monster Arts figure. So we're actually going to be getting a Godzilla 2016 by the end of this year. I think it comes out in November. And also is $121. That's so nice. When I originally saw that, I was like, what the heck? Because I'm like, first when I heard about it, I thought it was going to be one of those, um, uh, the Kokau Q? Or how you ever say Kokau? However you say it, the, the uh, deluxe Godzilla 1989 that they're putting out. Yeah. I thought it was going to be one of those when I saw the price. And then I was like, nope, just a Monster Arts. No, it was super sad. Until I saw it standing next to the deluxe one, and it's almost the same size. So, is it, it actually, yeah, $121 is perfectly fine then. Because that means it's probably around King, uh, King Ghidorah size, which King Ghidorah is about 125 so that being 120 range seems reasonable at that price point. Looks amazing, by the way. It's whatever the form is that we've been seeing in all the posters and the trailer where he's partially wrecked looking, where he has the, a lot of the red damage and the burn showing through, and even the end of his tail has that weird kind of regenerating look to it. Do we still know anything about that? Nope. To my understanding, he's evolving during the movie or regenerating towards the course of it, so the gods at the beginning is not going to be the same one as the end. But that's all kind of speculation at the moment until we actually, the movie comes out. Until we see it for ourselves. Yeah. So it's just, it's the same Godzilla we've been seeing, which is perfectly fine for me because it'll look awesome on your display stand, give your shelf a little bit more variety. Everybody likes variety. So. Oh, I love variety. So I'm actually really excited for that figure, especially at the price point. It works really well for me because, again, when I saw just Monster Arts, I was like, really? It's going to be like Spitfire Rebirth size and that much money? Is it like an exclusive exclusive? <laughs> but, no, oh, it's actually going to be a pretty large Kaiju action figure, which means he'll be in scale with everybody, too. Or at least pretty well in scale. Because he'll be around 8, 9 inches. Really? Oh, that's not that bad, then. Oh. Well, yeah, $120 is not bad, then. Also got to see some images of the Deluxe figure, which actually has me a little more excited for it. Because you got to see the, at least the light up effects. That's like one of those things like where you're really excited, but then there's so many of them coming out though. Like there's a lot of toys this year. What do you worth choose? Buying. Like which ones do you choose, man? Like ah, I know for me being more of a articulated fan, I gravitate towards him more than say some like say if there was an X Plus coming out later in the year. Yeah, I would probably pick him up over that. Problem is, the end of the year, we have Optimus Primal, which we got to see new pictures of that, which is the new Transformers masterpiece, which I have on pre-order. That thing looks awesome. I don't know what he's talking about. Never seen Beast Wars? Nope. Literally was my favorite Transformers series until Transformers nope. Prime? Nope. God, everybody's seen Beast Wars, Steve. Hope so. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so sweet. Can't wait to get him with my next my G masterpiece G1 Optimus Prime. Uh... That's one of those figures, like, I, that's not coming off my pre-order list anytime soon. Like, something major has to come off for me to skip on that guy. What else came out of this toy fair? We got to see some new Figma figures with... They're actually releasing more Guyvers. Your female Guyvers? Yes, there's two versions of the female Guyver 2. All right, Guyver so this, 2 female. It's, so uh, this Valkyrie. is where Steve is in a bind, you guys. Yes, I need some help because there's two versions of the same figure coming out. Now, you might say, why not just get both? I can't afford both, but uh, $70 sorry, I'm, not, I'm lying. I might be able to get both, but I'm going to try to get one. They're like yeah, $65 a piece plus shipping. Yeah, so about 70 bucks each. Which we get the pink version, which is the manga version, which is going to be the standard one. It's the one I'm gravitating more towards because it's just how it's supposed to look. Yeah. And it's still pretty cool, too, where it has the chest plate can open up just like on the other Figma Giver figure has the... Replacement elbow blade, so you can actually, or the vibration blade, so you can swap those out. And then we have the purple one, which is the movie version. Which looks better for some odd reason. Yes, I, I like the color scheme on that one way more than the pink one, though. 
which is like the odd thing. You'd think we would want the original one from the manga. But one both, Steve. Yeah, I've s I've i I've never seen the movie version. That's one of the reasons why I don't really want to get the purple one, because I'm like, I don't really know what it's from. Yeah. The pink one I know. So the pink one I'm pretty sure is the one I'm gonna get. But the purple one's just like the color scheme's just so pretty on it. I love it. In my opinion, the purple one looks better. So, I'm going to buy it. Let me know in the comment section below. And then, some other figures that kind of caught me off guard is we have a Dragon Ball Gal figure coming out by Mega House, which is Android 18. This is where it becomes hard, people. Yeah, because I don't buy Dragon Ball Z figures too often, but I saw that, and I was just like, especially the pose, I was just like, oh my god, it's 18, and it has boobs. <laughs> is this a sad scenario where I wish I was Krillin? <laughs> We all do. <laughs> I will take being a pale by Frieza just for that. Look and now you too can be Krillin by having her in your life as well. <laughs> $100, uh, though. Yeah, 100 for it being, uh, what is it, 7 and a half inches? Yeah. So it's a decent size. It's a Japanese import, so 100 is not bad. Looks good. No, it, it looks great. It has all the proper equipment, <laughs> gentlemen. It has all the features that you want in your Android 18. And then just because I think it's cool that they're releasing figures from this anime... I don't really like this figure in particular, but I just want to point it out because I want them to make more figures from this line. So you guys support it so we can get the next ones that we want. Yes, because Super Action Statue is putting out Tokyo Ghoul figures, which I forget the guy's name, but he's the one that uh, wants to eat duels, ghouls as a delicacy. Oh, uh, He's like the more flamboyant guy. <sighs> I forget his name. But anyways, he's... Already been out, and now we're getting Juzo, which is, I call him Stitches. Yeah, he's Stitches. Yeah, he's like the weird kid-looking guy with, like, loafers and little stitches and tattoos on his body. He has a giant, like, sickle-ish weapon. Which I'm like, okay, that's cool. I don't like the character, but that's cool. <laughs> I don't like any of the ones that are out so far. Yeah, so it's cool that they're releasing them. And I kind of, I guess, appreciate that they're releasing the figures that you don't care about. Early on, because there's a lot of figures coming out as of right now, so the less things I have to buy, the better. But when they eventually get to the figures that I want, I'm perfectly fine. I would love to get pretty much any female character in this anime. Yes, you guys, we go towards the female characters. <laughs> Usually. It's like kaijus or chicks, one or the other. Alright, so there's another thing coming out a couple months ago. I would say months ago, right? We watched this god awful anime. It made no sense whatsoever. Oh. Well, I don't know about no sense, it's just the it plot made didn't sense. go anywhere. The plot didn't go anywhere. We stuck through it because we thought it would change, but it did not change. It just stayed garbage. We still finished it. And the sad thing is, I would still watch season two if it comes out. You would. Because <laughs> I want to see where it goes. Oh, okay. But there's one character from that anime that stuck out, and that's the character they're coming out with. Fremi. Yes, it's a 1-8 scale freed, uh, freed statue. So she's going to actually be a pretty large figure. I think she's around 9 inches. Yeah. Which it's Fremi Speed Draw is her name. She looks fantastic in the anime. And the figure looks fantastic. Well, as long as she keeps that <laughs> eye patch on, nobody she looks awesome. Nobody wants to see the penis up here. <laughs> no. <laughs> Remember, she took that off and was like, oh, God, what is that thing? Because <laughs> she looks so hot. And then she's like, I'm like, oh, oh, God, no, please put it back on. Oh, yeah. I'm like, she keeps that on. She looks perfectly fine. I don't, Still a cool character, although she's, like, very conflicted and kind of dark yeah. in the anime. I don't know if it's $150 worth, though. Oh, <sighs> yeah, that's kind of the stretch. Like, I, the Dragon Ball Z one works for me because it's Dragon Ball Z. Yeah. I know the anime. It's 18. She has a big fan base. She's worth it. Yeah, and then eventually if you decide that you want to get rid of the figure, it's not that hard. Yeah. It's a lot of people like Dragon Ball. Well, this is more of a niche market, so you have to really, really want this figure. Yeah. Oh, also I want to point out for the Guyver one, too, that I forgot. Uh, there's nothing official, but I've heard that they are going to be putting out Guyver 3. Already? Which is the one that I want. Guyver 3 is awesome. He's the black guy with like the three yeah. blades and like gigantic. Oh, he's so sweet. Also, I want my enzyme. Enzyme be sweet, especially go with Guyver. Steve, I feel like your shelf is just going to evolve. Like move all these guys down to the Guyver section. I wish. I so wish I didn't miss out on those old Guyver figures because there's so much money nowadays. They look so good. 
Diego dude doesn't know how jealous I am of this collection. <laughs> I want those Guyver figures so bad. I, I feel like you is just going to evolve into Guyver. Yeah, it was one of those, like, I should I needed to hop on those back in the day, but it was like, I wasn't buying figures because the girl I was with at the time wasn't into it. And then when I was with Jess, we were buying more of the Godzilla stuff, and it just wasn't really paying as much of attention. And now that I pay attention, they're out of reach. That's what happens when you let females control your life, guys. It's true. Wasn't even buying as much Godzilla stuff because she found her creepy. And then I got rid of her. <laughs> Steve was like, Godzilla or vagina? Hmm. I picked the guy in the rubber suit. <laughs> <laughs> Good choice, Steve. Somebody down there was like, what the fuck's wrong with you? <laughs> I'm sorry. And that's pretty much it out of the more noteworthy things, at least for our channel anyways. Yeah. There's a lot of other cool stuff that came out. It was like, uh, some of the, a lot of these are uh, pre-ordered on Big Bad, which is where I've seen a few of the stuff. Oh, actually, I forgot. There's one figure that's coming out. Huh? I don't think, I haven't shown it to you. Shigokin's making a Toy Story uh, Megazord. I've seen it. <laughs> you I seen, seen it? it. Did yep. you see my share? Yep. Oh, that thing's so sweet. It's like a trans. It's like the Transformers when they combine to make one giant Transformer, but it's Toy Story characters. Yeah, the figures that you'll get is Woody, Ham, Rex, uh, Slinky, and Bullseye, and then they combine to make this giant monstrosity of a figure. How much? Okay, so the price is one hundred seventy dollars for each or the whole thing, whole set. Okay, that's not bad for all those though. Yeah, the set. It seems fine. Like, you get five figures in Shigokin. Problem is, my last experience with the Shigokin line was not a very happy one. What was it? With my Evangelions. Oh, yeah, never mind. Them. No. <laughs> this one <laughs> cut it off. Great when I got them. And then stuff happened. Eh, I just uh, was a big fan of them anymore. They just started falling apart, literally. Like, you touch them and it's like... <laughs> yeah, like, one of them tipped over, snapped the accessory. Even when I had it on stand. And then one of the accessories at the after I did review did the pictures fell about a foot broke in half. I was like, oh, all right, <laughs> love the quality. And then two of the Avas still don't stand after doing some floor polish. As exciting as that sounds, I don't think I'll be getting it then. Yeah, it's cool. I might pass on it because the only one I've really been happy with the Shigokin line as of right now is the Big O figure. Yeah, I think it's cool. Like, the figures themselves are awesome, but when we get to, like, thin details and accessories, that's where that line kind of fails for me a little bit. But that's it for this toy news. Please let us know in the comment section below if you guys are excited about any of these figures. We'd love to hear about it. And help us defeat those guys by hitting that like button, subscribe, become a ranger today, and see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.